Ben Nevis is the UK's highest mountain, at 1,344 metres tall. It is climbed by over 100,000 people every year. The most popular way to climb the mountain is via the pony track, also known as the mountain track, and this is the route the majority of people will take to the summit every year. On the other side of the mountain from the pony track, the extensive cliffs of the North Face offer a number of climbing and scrambling routes to the summit for confident mountaineers. Ledger route is one of these routes, and that's where I'm headed today. After ascending the first portion of the mountain track to the halfway lochan, I then turned left off the main Ben Nevis track to head over towards the CIC hut and the Old Avulan Glen. This path is one of my favourite walks in the area, as it brings you around the side of Ben Nevis, slowly opening up more and more of the North Face Cliffs into your view. I knew from even before I started my walk that I was likely to have low cloud all day, and very little in the way of views. However, I quite like the mountains when they're misty like this, as it adds another level of atmosphere to the experience. Above me now is Castle Ridge, which marks the start of the North Face Cliffs when walking in from the halfway lochan. Ahead of me in the mist, is the outline of North East Buttress and the start of Tower Ridge. The Altavulan River drains the north face of the mountain, and lower down its course it disappears almost completely as it is drawn into an intake for the hydro-powered smelter in Fort William. Right now I am standing about here on the map looking up in front of me to Tower Ridge in northeast Buttress. Ledge route takes its name from the series of ramp-like ledges which the route follows up through the cliffs of Carnjeric Buttress. There are two alternative starts to ledge route. The traditional start begins in number 5 gully, before climbing out on a slanting ledge on the right of the gully. This first ledge out of the gully is a slab of rock which slants down towards a sheer cliff at its outer edge. It forms the crux of the route, if done from this start. I didn't much fancy tackling this slab on such a wet day, so I instead opted for the alternative start. This alternative route begins in Koyunakisht, before crossing over Moonlight Gully Buttress and joining the main route of Ledge Route higher up, on the crest of Karnjeric Buttress. From here the crest of the buttress is followed, until reaching the flat top of Karnjeric. Looking back on Colin Jerry Buttress from High and Coriolese behind the CIC hut, it is easy to see the line the route takes across the sloping grassy ledges and onto the ridge, and then from the left, from Coriolese, where the alternative start cuts across the top of Moonlight Gully Buttress and joins the main route on the ridge of Colin Jerry Buttress. The walk up the scree slopes from the Old Avulan into Coriolese gives you some incredible perspective on the cliffs around you even without heading any higher than the base of Gornikish itself. All around you in the rock are myriad cracks, gullies, crags and small waterfalls that are impossible to keep track of. Everywhere you look there's something new, and as you move closer to the cliff faces, more features of the rock reveal themselves to you that were hidden from further back. At this point in the route, I'm making my way from directly below number 5 gully over to Loch and Gornikish. Once I was in the quarry, I found myself bounded on one side by the huge mass of Tower Ridge, while on my other side, the route ahead across the top of Moonlight Gully Buttress led on. On top of Moonlight Gully Buttress, a surprisingly large flat area of grass narrows down to its right hand side, where Number 5 Gully can be crossed. Ahead of me you can see the ledge rising out of number 5 gully, which is the traditional start for ledge route. Up ahead, after crossing number 5 gully, the route takes you across the slope of grass and scree and onto the ridge of Karnjeric Buttress. Passing an improbably balanced boulder, rounding the next corner, brought me out onto the top of the ridge proper, where I had views on either side, both back down to Coronacisht 
and Coriolis in the CIC hut, and down the Elder Villain towards Tolundi. Next, a short but slightly awkward scramble with steep drops on two sides brought me over the top of a low wall-like chunk of rock and onto the boulder field which makes up the majority of the rest of the ridge from this point on. The top of the ridge gets wider and the scrambling gets easier, making for a nice finish to clamber out onto the top of Karnjerig. To walk off the mountain, I followed the line of the cliffs roughly south until I reached the marker at the top of number 4 gully. From here, it was easy to make my way back to the pony track and descend to the halfway lochan, and then finally to the visitor centre to end my day there. <laughs>